Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I have a gameplay commentary for you about motivation, about goofy guns, about AC-130s, Gamma Labs, homework, and everything in between. Get ready, we're going off topic and all over the place, but somehow all related with my MK-14 shooting people in the face to the MP-9 to the chest. Here we go. So this is a gameplay commentary about motivation, and the first and most interesting thing about this commentary is that I actually wasn't motivated to do it. I'm sitting here, you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this great commentary on motivation, you know, I'm going to get it done early, I'm going to have it ready to go, so my travel plans for this weekend won't get interrupted. I can just upload it at my leisure in the morning, and then that night they're just like, "Man, I don't feel like this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this off a little bit. It's gonna be fine. Oh, I don't want to do this." And if you go back a little bit further than that night, it's because of homework. The test that I thought was later in the week was actually earlier in the week, and I haven't been reading my book, so I have a test on 250 some odd pages of this book and notes that I haven't read at all. And I turn the corner, and the homework monster is right there, and he's like, "You will." Study. You will do homework forever. Homework monster smash. I just like smashes my brain into the ground for the five, six, seven hours while I try and study and, and do well on my test, which I actually did do well on this morning. I'm doing this commentary right after that test, but things like that can really, really cripple your motivation. Just thought that was a neat way to intro into the video. This video, however, is mostly about motivation to exercise and Gamma Labs because they tie in together. Gamma Labs is an energy drink company. It's a PTF uh, pre-workout and pre gaming formula of sorts. Very, very unusual sort of mix here. And it's a promotion for them. You'll see links down there in the description where you can buy 15% uh, off with my discount code. And this weekend, they're really trying to get us to sell some uh, Gamma Labs by offering incentives. Like, they're actually paying me this time. It's a commission-based thing, which hasn't been going on before. And I'm going to be completely honest with you about everything like that on my channel. They also are doing giveaways. So the more you people buy, they're almost matching one-to-one -one or like two-to-one -one for me to give a buttload of that stuff away to people on the channel. Not sure how that encourages sales, but anyway, that's my motivation for making this video because I do like paying my rent, and as much as I like putting off videos and procrastinating and things like that, having a roof over my head is very, very important, and that will motivate the hell out of anybody. That's what motivates millions and millions of Americans to get up in the morning and go to jobs they hate, working construction, McDonald's, office manager, that sort of stuff, because everybody likes getting paid, but we're going to go back to the workout now, and the workout is the one thing that I have the hardest time motivating myself about. I mean, I just can't seem to get it right. It's been probably four years since I've done any sort of proper exercise routine. I just can't keep it going. I, I mean, I'll get going for a couple of days, and then day number four or five, I get a little bit sore. It's like, you know, I think I'm just going to take today off and let my, my muscles relax and heal up, and then day number six or seven, it's like, nah, they're still a little bit sore, maybe I should hold back and just kind of sit around here and watch some Bleach or some Battlestar Galactica or something, and by the time day number six, seven, eight gets around, I forgot that I was supposed to be working out to begin with, and I don't care to do it. This happens all the time. Sometimes I don't even make it to that day three or four. Sometimes it's like day two, <sighs> I didn't need a break. Or you start exercising, and you're like, man, I worked really hard today. I definitely uh, deserve this double chocolate brownie with ice cream that I'm about to eat and whipped cream and a cherry. Because, you know, I worked hard. It'll balance out. It'll be fine. Doesn't really work that way. That's why I hate, I absolutely hate those treadmills at the gym that tell you how many calories you burn by working out because I sit there and I run on these things for like 45 minutes and I look down and like 150 calories that's not even one of those sad ass diet snack packs how am I ever supposed to lose weight doing this I'm supposed to run all day like a hamster on a wheel and it's just, it goes really really badly and I started thinking about my motivations for working out why is it that I that I don't work out why don't I do this because I know it's good for my body and even though I know it's good for my body and it reduces cholesterol and blood pressure and all that sort of stuff it's one of those things you just can't sell people on it humans are kind of bad for long-term thinking like, oh, my heart's fine. It's still beating. My cholesterol's fine. I don't have, like, a cholesterol monster following me around telling me my cholesterol's bad. We're good here. You know, I can still get around. I'm fine. So you don't worry about that. And uh, <laughs> if you're an athlete, there's a direct motivation. When I was – when I wasn't, wasn't – ah getting screwed up here on these words. When I was in high school, I did athletics. I did football almost exclusively. So my workout was pretty straightforward. I knew that I needed to be able to throw people around, run so fast, be so tough, etc., etc. But now that I'm not an athlete, I don't have any direct physical requirements. My physical requirements for both being a student and doing this YouTube commentary thing is that I can sit in a chair and talk for a little bit and click my mouse a couple hours at a time without, you know, getting too exhausted, which I'm pretty sure everybody can do that. People that are near comatose can probably handle that same sort of workload. 
the motivation for me to work out is always the uh, the the very vain appeal of looks. I always want to look better, and now it's more important than ever because I'm doing more and more vlogs on this channel, and I'm doing more live action productions. When you guys watch, if it were realistic, you'll probably never see me or see my face or me doing too much of anything because I am painfully aware of how bad it is that I look. Uh, if you do see me, I'll be the generic Russian, just like completely covered from head to toe, so you can't tell who I am. Uh, to describe my body, I would say that I am six foot one inches tall, but I probably hang closer to six foot or five eleven or something because I hunch a lot. Most people are shorter than me. I live in an old house. Everything is low to the ground. My computers are low to the ground. So my natural stance is hunching so that I can interact with the things around me, which is very, very bad for my health. Do it anyway. Also, because all I do is I'm a student and a YouTube commentator, the outside is uh, severely limited, especially outside during the daylight, because that's always school and homework forever and ever and ever, so I'm very, very pale. I'm like Casper the Ghost kind of pale, probably the whitest person you know every time I try to go to a Klan rally, because as you know, if you live in Mississippi, there's just Klan rallies everywhere. Twice as many in Alabama, and all white people are racist. Just remember that. We go to Klan, Klan rallies all the time and carry around little cards, but when I go to the Klan rallies, they're like, Jesus, this guy is too white. He's just like so white, he's got to get out of here. He's too white for us. My God, get this white-ass guy out of here. The, the racist joke has gone on way too long. But anyway, the point is I'm Casper the Ghost white, and it's bad and greasy and pasty. And while I'm not particularly weak, I'm also not particularly strong, so I can't really pass myself off as a hero. And my motivation for working out now is I want to look better. I actually want to be in my own videos. I want to try acting a little bit. I don't want to look like a goofy, doofus kind of guy running slow, barely able to sling his own weight around. When I do the Mirror's Edge 2 video, I actually want to be able to do parkour instead of having to pay somebody to do parkour for me. I think that would be much more fun. So that's my motivation for working out. And that's what really gets me going. And when you want to work out, you have to find out what you want to do. What makes you want to work out? What do you want to be stronger? Do you want to look sexier? Do you want to look more attractive? Do you want to look stronger? Do you want to look more aggressive? Do you want to be more tan? Do you want to be slimmer, bigger, prettier? Uh, you know, you could maybe swim faster. You could have some sort of specialty muscle. I know there's some freak jobs that just like attention. And they'll be like, yeah, I have one strong arm and one weak arm. And that's just kind of who they are. So... When it comes to working out, you need to pick what motivates you. What you want out of your workout is what you're going to get out of your workout. And you need to tailor the workout to what you want to get out of it. Right now, when I work out, which is a very sad workout indeed, I'm working out on building the upper body. And I was planning to include some footage of this, but upon review of the footage, I've decided not to embarrass myself anymore. Uh, my sit-ups are in the, in the lower triple digits, and push-ups can't hardly really get into the triple digits without killing myself and... It, it just looks really, really bad, so we're not going to be showing any gameplay of that. And one of the things that actually helps me work out is now that I'm sponsored by Gamma Labs, I have a real motivation to do that. Whereas before, I could just kind of put it off and put it off, and I don't need to do this, and I don't need to do this. Now, when I look up, I have this whole wall at my house of Gamma Labs product. I don't know why they ship me this, month, this much, but they just ship me so much. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm being sponsored by a workout company. <sighs> I'm supposed to make workout videos. <sighs> God, I guess I should probably work out. And about halfway into the workout, it's not bad at all. It's really not so hard because the hardest part of, for me, of, of working out is just starting. Getting off the couch, putting down the Xbox controller, turning off the Farscape, that kind of stuff is way, way harder than actually doing the push ups and actually doing the sit ups and the curls and the. Uh, you know, the back exercises or running or any of that sort of stuff, the hardest part of any sort of project is always starting it. This is the same with school, with workouts for anything. With you guys that are in school and you get giant school projects, giant college projects, things that are going to eat up a lot of time, I recommend that you do uh, two things. And this is going to sound way oversimplified. It really is. Thing number one, write down a list of things that you need to do. Making a list is not a part of the list, and finishing the list doesn't mean you've done anything. That just means you know what you need to do. And once you've got the list, just try and cross things off of it. Even if it's little things, you'll get the little things done, then you can move to the big things. If you get big things done, the little things feel like nothing. You just have to start. You have to force yourself to get up to start an exercise. And that's what I promised you guys in the Gamer Fitness videos was that I was going to do some cooler exercises. That's my favorite kind of exercise. I'm actually running out of time in this commentary. I keep talking forever. I like the kind of exercises where you forget that you're exercising, like swimming in a lake, uh, base jumping, urban exploring, which doesn't sound like much exercise, but it really is because you do a lot of avoiding police, a lot of climbing, a lot of running around, 
get your heart rate pretty high. There's all sorts of hiking, rock climbing, swimming in a river. I guess that's about the same as a lake. I'd like to say skydiving, but I'm kind of too big of a pansy to do that. I was planning on making a skydiving video, but the thought of uh, pulling that little cord and it not working horrifies me so much that I don't believe I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. But what you need to get from this video, the overall theme is that you need to motivate yourself to be and do what you want to be in life. Do you want to be super fit and awesome looking? Well, that's great. You have to put some work into it. Actually, you got to put a lot of work into it, believe me, because I don't look super fit or great. You want to be smart? Well, you have to study a lot. You're not born smart. You have to make yourself smart. Do you want to be a good athlete? you got to work hard on it. And the motivation is the hardest part. There's no secret to really doing it, but the secret to starting is the simplest thing, like I mentioned earlier. You just have to start. You have to put one foot in front of the other and march and walk and go on for as long as you possibly can until you're done. And as trite as that seems, that'll actually work if you take the the time to do it, you will really, really get a lot done if you can just start, if you can force yourself to get up and start. For me, that's the looks, obviously. I like looking better, and it's also Gamma Labs, because now that I'm a product ambassador or brand ambassador or whatever, when I want to go and blow off that responsibility, I look at my wall of product, I'm like, no, I think I'm going to be do this, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do my job right, I'm going to educate people on YouTube and help them become better people and exercise and all this sort of stuff. And that's all for this video. You have to find your own motivation, your own desires, and when you do, you find what you want, what you should be motivated to do what you want, and when you do, you just get up and do it. Last but not least, Gamma Labs wants customers. They really want people to try the product, and this is going to be the last Gamma Labs video for a while because I'm going to be traveling, mostly. <laughs> uh, so there are links down there in the description. You can check out Gamma Labs this weekend. They're doing the wholesale promotion giveaway thing, coupon code, whatever you guys figure that out, Drifter out.